today we're going to be talking about some of the differences between Vue and React. I'm not going to be talking about surface level differences, things like templates and JSX, but more some of the deeper philosophical differences between the two frameworks. To illustrate this, I have two components, one in React and one in Vue. Both of them do exactly the same thing. When you click on a button, it is going to increment a value and cause a re-render, updating the user interface. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two components and see how they are structured. On the left, you can see we have a React component. We're using a useState hook to create some count, and we're going to have two console logs. The first is going to be in the body of the component, and it's just going to say this is a log. The second is going to be an effect that is only logged when the count variable is changed. Finally, we have some HTML down here. On the right hand side, we have a view component, which does exactly the same thing. We have a reactive count variable created with a ref. We're then going to go ahead and update it when you click on the button, and we have two console logs. The first is free hanging inside of the component body, and the second is wrapped inside of an effect, which is only going to be logged when count is changed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the application. You can see on the initial render, everything is exactly the same. Both of them log that console log in the body of the component, then the effect is going to be executed. If we go ahead and click on the button for React, we're going to see the same two console logs repeated. The first is going to be the component one, and the second is going to be the effect. This makes sense based on React's reactivity model. Everything is going to be re-rendered or re-executed every single time. So we're going to go ahead, execute the hooks, uh, we're going to execute the console log, or well, technically we don't execute the hooks, but you can kind of think of it as if we do, we're going to get a new count every single time. And then we're going to go ahead, re-execute the console and return this new updated state of the world containing the new count. If we head over to the view component, we can see this is a little bit different. I'm just going to go ahead and click this a bunch of times. And we're only getting one console log, and that's from the watch effect that's over here. This is very different because Vue's lifecycle is very different. In Vue, all of this code is only going to be executed once, and that's on the initial render, as opposed to React, which is going to re-execute everything every single time. The only way we're going to get something changing, for example, a console log, is by opting into reactivity. And this is sometimes where people say Vue's reactivity is opt-in. I need to explicitly call out watch effect if I'd like to see this console log. And I also have to opt into reactivity by using this ref function from Vue's reactivity APIs. Let's see another example to drive this point home. I'm going to create a new variable called const, uh, const double, and that's just going to be equal to count times two. I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just going to go ahead and declare a JavaScript variable, and then we're going to go ahead and render it in React. We're going to perform exactly the same thing in Vue and see what happens. So let's just go ahead and create that variable. I need to say value in Vue, and we're going to go ahead and render double. Let's save it off and see what happens. If we head back to the browser, we can see React is working exactly how you'd expect. Uh, we're going to double that variable every single time. This is why a lot of people will say React is just JavaScript. I'm not doing anything special here, I'm just creating a new variable. And because React re-executes re everything every single time, this variable is of course going to be updated. The same cannot be said for view. You can see this value is going to be stuck at zero. The reason is, as we said before, all this code is only executed once inside of Vue. Vue's reactivity is opt-in. What this means we need to do is opt-in to reactivity. In this case, we would need to use something called computed. It's going to recompute every time a dependency changes. In this case, we have a reactive dependency of count. We save this one off and head back to the browser. We're now correctly opting into reactivity and everything is working as you would expect. Uh, so that's uh, why Vue is kind of more granular and why we say it is opt-in reactivity. You can kind of say React is opt out of reactivity, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that in just a moment. What we're going to do is create a new variable called now. I'm going to go ahead and create a new value here called new date, and this is going to be to UTC string. It's going to give me the current date time. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and inline this variable, and this of course is going to update and show the current time every time the component is re-rendered. We're going to do the same thing in view, and as we established, this code up here is only executed once when the component is first mounted, so I'd like to put this in line in my template. Every time this re-renders, I'm going to see the last time it was re-rendered. Let's go ahead and save it off. If we head back to the browser, this is of course going to work as expected. Both of these are going to show the timestamp the last time the component was updated. Uh, before we go any further, now is probably a good time to discuss the reactivity systems and take a bit of a step back and appreciate what we are looking at. 
we can see in React we are not going to mutate variables ever. Everything is constant and there is no mutation whatsoever. If I'd like to change the state of the world, what I need to do is call a function and pass in the new state. Uh, in this case, I'm saying count is going to change and I'm passing in the new state, which is going to be count plus one. The React is going to then recognize the world has changed in some form. Uh, it doesn't know exactly how the world's changed, but because it knows something has changed, it's just going to re-render everything and give me the new state of the world. Uh, this is in contrast to view. View is what we call mutative based reaction or reactivity. You can see the way we change the state of the world in view is not by calling a function, but it's by actually reassigning the state of the world. We're saying the world is exactly the same as it was before, except for this one thing which is going to be different. Count value is going to change. View then detects any mutation, and whenever something is mutated, it is going to go ahead and re-render anything that is dependent on that value. In this case, double was previously dependent on that value, and because double is used inside of this template, it is going to go ahead and re-render everything. To illustrate this difference a little bit more, let's go ahead and change this. I'm going to create a new function called setCount2, which is going to do exactly the same thing with a new count. Uh, let's go ahead and update these two. So we're going to hey, set count two. We're going to do exactly the same thing over here inside of view as well. We're going to have on click two, which is going to be a new variable. Let's just go ahead and create count two. And on click two is going to do exactly what you might expect. Uh, this is probably the idiomatic way to do it in view. Because we're using mutation, we don't need to pass any arguments. It's not uh, as functional or pure as React. I can just go ahead and mutate the variables like this. Uh, just to make these as similar as possible for demonstration purposes, what I am going to do is pass a value in here. I'm going to pass in the new value, count two plus one. We're then going to come up here and receive a new val, which is going to be a number. And then we're going to reassign count two to be our new value. So these React and view codes are very, very similar at this point. Let's go ahead now and give this a try and see what happens. In the React example, you can see no matter what happens and wherever I click, we are going to re-render the component. And you can see this is evidenced by this value changing. And this is actually not the case in view, which is very interesting. The first one, of course, is going to cause a re-render because we're using the count, but count two is not going to be used anywhere. And this is actually not going to cause a re-render. And this is one of the nice things about having an opt-in reactivity system and about having a muta mutation-based reactivity system. You can see over here in view, we're mutating count two. Uh, but because view knows exactly what was mutated, and it also knows where count two was used. In this case, count two is actually not used anywhere. We're not rendering it. So there's no reason to re-render the DOM template. And for this reason, nothing has changed. It's not going to re-render anything because it knows the dependency has not been used anywhere. Uh, the same cannot be said for React. Although we have count two here, and it's not been rendered anywhere, React doesn't know that count2 was changed, but it's not used anywhere. It just knows that something was changed and we need to re-render everything. Uh, in this case, if we want to prevent this from re-rendering, what we would need to do is opt out of React's reactivity system. In contrast to Vue, where you opt into the reactivity system, in React, sometimes you need to opt out, especially if you have an expensive computation. Uh, this computation is obviously very cheap, but if it was more expensive, uh, you could incur a performance cost. So what you would need to do is opt out of reactivity. And the way you do this is kind of the opposite to view. What we need to do is say use memo. This is going to only update based on an array of dependencies that we pass in. In this case, I might just say count. In this case, now it's only going to change when count is changed. And if we did everything correctly, we should see the correct behavior this time around. Now let's go ahead and give this one a try. I'm actually getting an error here, which is not what I would expect because I need to return a value. Save it off and try it out. If we go ahead now and click on this one, we can see nothing is being changed. And the reason for that is we've opted out of reactivity, uh, at least based on this count two variable. We're only going to react when count is being changed. So these applications now have parity again. Uh, interestingly enough, no matter how many times we click here, we're still going to see that same console log. And this does make sense. We're still going to re-execute all of this code. We're just not going to reactively update the DOM unless uh, one of the dependencies of now has changed, which in this case, it hasn't. We do still get the console log, of course. Uh, this is not the case in view. You can see there's no console log whatsoever. So we've seen the two differences here between the reactivity systems. React emphasizes a deterministic functional based approach avoiding mutation and view is the opposite. We use mutation everywhere. We opt into reactivity and this gives us a more fine grained and granular result. 
Uh, both of these have very similar performance, uh, so there's not really a better or worse. It's just two different philosophies and different ways to approach the problem of creating complex reactive user interfaces. If you did enjoy this content, I do have a book that does similar philosophical deep dives about Vue.js. I'll leave a link to that in the description, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, so I will see you in the next lecture.